Welcome back candlestick traders, I'm Lance Beggs from YourTradingCoach.com. In this video we'll continue our review of the multi-candle reversal patterns with the piercing pattern. The piercing pattern is a two candle pattern occurring at market bottoms only. So it's a bullish reversal pattern. The price action leading up to a piercing pattern must be a downtrend. Ignore the pattern in a sideways trend or an uptrend. Price must be trending downwards. The first candle has a red real body, continuing the trend in the downwards direction. And the second candle is a green candle, opening below the real body of the first candle. So price on closing the red one here, then gaps down to open at a lower price here. And even better if that opening price is below the low of the red candle here, so below the bottom point of the shadow. The second green candle then closes above the midway point of the red candle as shown in this diagram. In other words, the 50% line here marks the midway point between the open and the close of the red candle. So the green candle must close above that point. Confirmation of the pattern is price trading above the high of the green candle. So this point here. As always, more conservative traders may seek additional confirmation through price closing above the high of the green candle, so closing at this point rather than just trading above it, or even closing above the high of the red candle here. Whatever works for you in your back and forward testing is fine. Remember once again, confirmation does not guarantee a reversal of the trend and commencement of an uptrend. Always set your stops. The trend may change to an uptrend. It may enter a period of sideways congestion. Sometimes though, the pattern fails. So set your stops. Let's consider the psychology or the sentiment of the piercing pattern. Who is in control, the bulls or the bears? The first candle continues the downtrend. Everything is looking bearish. The second candle ideally gaps down at the open to here. Not essential and not possible in some markets such as intraday forex, but if it does, the bearish trend appears to be continuing again. However, price is now at an area that shows a change in the balance of bulls and bears. Bears are no longer willing to sell the market at these low prices, at least not with the dominance they showed before. In fact, some of them may be covering their positions. The bulls find these low prices attractive and enter the market in more force. The balance of supply and demand has been tipped now slightly more in favour of the bulls. And price rallies. The key to this pattern is the movement of price above the 50% level here. This is considered the balance point for bullish and bearish sentiment in the first red candle. The bulls are able to push the price back up above this central balance point and close price in the upper area. This will shake the confidence of a number of bears, leading them to exit their position if the pattern is confirmed as price trades above the high of the green candle. And it will strengthen the confidence of a number of bulls who will enter on achieving confirmation in the same area, helping them to continue with the bullish move upwards. Let's look at how the process of candle addition resolves the two piercing pattern candles into one single candle. The piercing pattern is made of one period of price action, which opened here, moved to highs here, down to lows here, and then closed at this point here, followed then by a second period of price action, which gapped down to open here, moved to the lows, to the highs, and closed at this point here, the top of the green candle real body. The same two periods of price action can be displayed as a single candle representing double the time period. For example, two five minute candles can be represented by one single 10 minute candle. In this case, price opens here at the top of the red real body, which is equal to the open of the red real body here. Moves to the highs here, which is equal to the high of the piercing pattern here, moves to the low point, which is once again equal to the low point of the piercing pattern, and moves to close at this point, the base of the red real body, which is once again equal to the closing price of the whole piercing pattern, which is the close of the green candle here. So what does this single candle represent? Remember it occurs at the bottom of a downtrend. 
So that's right, a piercing pattern through the process of candle addition becomes a red hammer. Once again, a bullish reversal pattern. So if you're looking at any price action and you're unsure who's in control, the bulls or the bears, use the process of candle addition to resolve the group of candles into one single candle and see if that provides you with any insight as to the psychology or the sentiment of the candle. As I said in the last video, the process of candle addition is powerful. Be sure to practice it on your charts. Let's check out a few examples now. Juniper Networks, weekly chart, downtrend, pausing at the 20 level, retest of the same level, failing on a piercing pattern, confirmation, leading to a nice rally. As I said on a previous video, these are powerful signals when used on a retest of a previous support or resistance point. Great signals. Juniper Networks daily chart. Downtrend. Leading right into a piercing pattern at the 20 level, which you'll remember from the last uh, example was an area of previous support. Confirmation through price trading above the pattern leads to a brilliant move upwards. And a third example, British pound US dollar four hourly chart. Downtrend, which is stalled, final thrust lower, followed immediately by a green candle penetrating through the 50% level up to this point here. Confirmation through price trading above the green candle leads to a great reversal as all the bears bail out of their short positions and all the bulls enter long. That's it for the piercing pattern. Coming up in the next video, we'll continue with the two candle reversal patterns, looking at the bearish engulfing pattern. In the meantime, practice looking for a piercing pattern in your charts, occurring at the bottom of a downtrend. I'm Lance Beggs from www.yourtradingcoach.com. Wishing you happy.